There are many types of random walks, and I outline a few of them so you have an idea of the richness. First is the Pearson random walk, in which each step is a fixed length, but in a random direction. And what I'm showing here is a typical trajectory of such a Pearson random walk. Another example is the lattice random walk, in which the random walker is constrained to move between nearest neighbor sites of some regular lattice. So here the steps are a fixed length, and the directions are either north, east, south, or west. Another type of random walk is the so-called levy flight. In the levy flight, there is a broad distribution of single step lengths, but each step is in a random direction. Here we will see that the displacement after many steps can be dominated by the longest single step of the walk. Another example that's dear to my heart is the example of shrinking steps. That is, a random walker is getting lazier and lazier as time is going on, and the length of the nth step is lambda to the n, where lambda is less than 1. An amazing aspect of this type of random walk is the diversity of types of probability distributions as a function of the shrinking factor lambda. Notice that for lambda equal 0.61, in fact, more precisely, it's the golden ratio, 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, the probability distribution is this beautiful self-similar pattern that repeats on all scales. So the middle blob is the same as the entire distribution, and inside the middle blob is something which reproduces the entire distribution again. Another interesting uh, special case is lambda 0.707, which is actually 1 over the square root of 2. Here the probability distribution is made up of three linear segments, two tilted lines and one flat line. And there are many other beautiful special cases uh, of this type of sh random walk or shrinking steps. Another important example that appears in nature is turbulent diffusion, or random walks that are moving in a random convection field. In this case, the typical step up length of a random walk is growing with time, and one can get beautiful plume-like behavior, as you see here, from smoke rising from fires, uh, oil fires in the ocean. Here are the types of random walks we've just discussed. As we will see, the first four types lie in the domain of the celebrated central limit theorem, in which the probability distribution is asymptotically a Gaussian, independent of details of the microscopic motion. This universality is an extremely useful principle in many collective phenomena.